this is Whitney with Faith Trust in Christ. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I wanted to share with you my after trip tips for Disney World. Um, we just took our Disney trip in May and I wanted to share these tips in in case they would be helpful for you and your family. Before we get started, if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, I would really appreciate it. Um, so let's get started. All right, my first after trip tip is to grocery order for your trip. Um, we like to use Amazon Prime grocery or Walmart delivery. We will have our family's favorite breakfast snacks, our snacks, fruit, water bottles, because the water bottles at the park are gonna be much more expensive than getting a 24 pack of waters delivered to your hotel room. Um, we like to take a little cooler, put our fruit, snacks, and water in um, that little cooler and put it in the stroller and take it that way. Now, one thing you do need to know, so if you do not do your grocery order or if you forget something, you are not going to find Cheerios on property, goldfish, or gum. So you're gonna need to either bring those with you or if you don't need them, that's great. Um, but my kiddos love goldfish and Cheerios, so I have to grocery order those or bring those with us on our trip. Now having your groceries delivered. So I highly recommend having it delivered at least an hour before you get there. So say you have, you're supposed to arrive at four o'clock, have it delivered to your resort at three. So I will have a video showing you how we grocery order our groceries for Disney and I'll show you how to do the address and everything. So that way it is a breeze for you and your family. So your groceries are being delivered and they will be delivered right to your resort to Bell Services. Um, Bell Services will then bring it up to your room after you check in, you call down and you say, hi, this is so-and-so. I have a grocery order. They'll find your name. They'll bring it right on up. Don't forget to tip them. Um, we actually, on our past trip, um, Bell Services took us straight to the room. When they did that, um, we told them that we had a grocery order. We got our grocery order right there and Bell Services took us and our groceries right to our room. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys don't worry if you forget something for your trip. Um, they typically have a lot of things on property or you can grocery order it right to your room, even medicine. So if you need medicine delivered, they have a pharmacy right on property um, and have it delivered right to your resort. Um, but they have band-aids, they have all kinds of things. So don't panic if you get there and you're like, oh my goodness, I forgot this. Um, you can either have it delivered from Amazon, Walmart, or it might be on property. You can even talk to Bell Services or um, the front desk and they will help you. Alrighty, my friends. So the next tip is ride or switch, ride or swap. Either way works fine. So what it is, is if your little kid is not your baby, toddler is not able to ride a ride or doesn't want to, um, everyone who does get to want to ride gets to ride. So how it works is, let's use Tower of Terror for example. Um, you go up to the cast member at the front of the line, you then take your magic band and you and one other person scan your magic band. You stay with your little ones and the rest of the family goes and rides. When they are finished, they take your little ones and you and that one other person goes through the lightning lane and you get to ride that ride. Very thankful Disney has this service. Not all amusement parks have this service for families. Really appreciate that they do offer this for you and your little ones. Highly recommend you do this. Um, that way everyone can ride who wants to ride. All right, my next tip to go along with Rider Switch ride or swap, um, is while the rest of your family is riding that ride, go take your little ones and go find something to do. Either eat a snack, go find a show, do a filler attraction, filler ride. Um, those filler rides are rides that do not have long waits, long lines. Typically they just move people through and little ones can do them. Highly suggest you do that. Um, for example, um, Tower of Terror, my family went and rode that, and then I took my little ones over to the Lightning McQueen show. That way they weren't bored, they had something that they could do, and they could enjoy themselves a little more too. 
I think I've already mentioned this tip a little bit, but I definitely want you to grasp it for sure. Free water in the parks, take it. Quick service locations and those little kiosk stands, not all of them, but most of them have at least like the water jug where you can take the little um, cup of water and you can fill that up. It's free, you can have that. Instead of paying an arm and a leg for a water bottle, especially if you didn't pre-order, grocery order some water bottles, um, get that free water at the quick services. Very helpful for you and your family to stay hydrated. Alrighty, my next tip for you guys is your power banks and your fuel rods. Make sure to take them for your trips. If you purchase on Amazon your fuel rods, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. One fuel rod at Disney at their little kiosk is $30 for one. Now, they are interchangeable once you pay for one. If you change it back in, um, you trade it in, they will give you a new one for free, charged and ready to go. But if you get them off Amazon, you get two for $34 or three for $49. Those can also be used at the Disney kiosk. You can trade those in whenever you want. My mom enjoyed doing that. She would use those fuel rods and then as soon as she'd see a fuel rod station, she'd go and change them out for free. If you want to see how that whole process works, um, you can go to our Hollywood Studios day and watch my mom and I show you how the fuel rod station works. Also, if you purchase the fuel rods on Amazon, they come with a little charging cord um, that you get to keep and don't turn those back in at those Disney kiosks. Keep that little charging cord. Um, but um, I thought that was a great feature that Amazon does give to you as well. All right, my next tip for you guys is knowing your family. Sounds kind of odd. You're like, I know my family, but seriously, know when your family either gets cranky, gets hangry, needs a break, know those times. So typically my little ones take a nap between one and two. I know that those are the times that they're gonna get done. They're gonna need a break. So I know I either need to find some AC, some shows, or I just need to leave the park and be done for the day, or come back later after we take a nap. Um, or if I need a snack, sometimes I get a little hangry too. I know that I need snacks and I know that my kiddos will need snacks too. So make sure to know your family, be prepared for um, being hangry, being cranky, just know your family. All right, y'all, strollers. Know how to fold your strollers. Um, it, moms, you probably know this. You, got this down pat, make sure you show um, dad, you the rest of your family, another adult, an extra hand. Um, you might be dealing with the kids, might need to get on the bus. Make sure at least one other person knows how to fold up your stroller. I have always showed my husband ahead of time how to fold it and I actually kind of redo a tutorial for him, have him practice before we go on a trip. Our last Disney trip that he was on, I kind of made him do it a couple different times to get him into the rhythm. Um, that way at the bus stops, you're not going to be sitting, taking time, the, the bus driver's not like waiting on you. Um, go ahead and know how to fold your stroller up. Um, also, if you get to the bus stop before your bus gets there, go ahead and fold your stroller up. It will make life easier for you and your um, bus driver. All right, to piggyback off of renting strollers, same thing. If you rent your strollers um, from like Kingdom Strollers or Orlando Stroller Rental, um, they will bring your stroller right to your home, the resort, and that way you can use it from that point on to the parks, and then they will also come back to your resort or home to get that. Um, but same thing, make sure you know how that, sh that stroller folds up and you have practiced, um, you have that other person practice, your other adult that's with you, hopefully if you are not solo tripping, if you are, you're my hero because I couldn't do it by myself. Um, but know how your stroller folds up. Any type of stroller, um, just be prepared in that way. 
Alrighty, my friends. My last tip for you guys is know Florida's seasons and their weather. It can kind of change like the wind, you guys. You kind of got to be prepared for all seasons, all weather. It, it is Florida, but in the wintertime, it can kind of get cool. So you might want to pack those rain jackets, ponchos, sweatshirts, whatever you need for you and your family. Make sure to take those. Check the weather frequently. And the weather does change frequently in Florida, um, like even during the day. So it can be cool in the morning. You might need that sweatshirt take layers and then midday you're like whoo it's hot i could even go to the pool sure go to the pool but by the evening you might get cold again so you might want those layers again um summertime you might need those ponchos raincoats um umbrellas or your fans it's super hot just know the weather um, and be prepared Alrighty, my friends that's gonna be it for our after trip tips I hope this video was helpful for you and your family. If it was, give it this video a like and a subscribe. Also, if you have any um, trip tips that I didn't mention and you wanna share with us, let me know in the comments. We certainly love to learn new trip tips. Um, it's helpful for us and our family and I'm sure there's other friends on YouTube that appreciate that as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you real soon. Bye.